Oh, hi, I'm Casey Ferris. I make videos on post-production here on YouTube. Today we're talking about, <laughs> today we're talking about planar tracking in Fusion when things get in the way. You know how life is. Sometimes life happens to the things you're trying to track too. Let's go. Here we are in the Fusion page of Resolve 17. I have a few different nodes just kind of hanging out here handy, which we'll get into in a second. But right now we have this shot of somebody scrolling on a phone and the phone's moving around a little bit because they're not holding it perfectly still, you know. So let's say we want to replace this screen. The best way to replace a screen, in my opinion, is a good old planar tracker. So let's go ahead and select media in one. I'll hit shift spacebar and type P-L-A-N, and that'll bring up our planar tracker here. I'll hit enter. That'll add a planar tracker node. With the planar tracker node selected, I can draw a little mask around anything that I want to track, namely the phone screen. And if I go over to my inspector, I'll set my reference time and I can track this forward. Go back to my reference time and track it backward. And to replace this screen, I'm going to use something called a corner pin. That is basically just taking an image and kind of placing each corner where it should be in perspective. So here where it says operation mode track, I'm going to switch to corner pin. That'll give me this little red box and I just put the corners where I want them to go. Put them roughly where they should be on a phone. And I have a convenient image of a cat because the only thing you ever replace screens with are cats. And let's see how this did. <laughs> and it actually did a surprisingly good job. I was kind of thinking that this would be a little bit more difficult. So uh, good on you, Fusion. But it won't always be quite this nice. If I switch back over to track, we can see some of the points that it wants to track are these points on this lady's thumb. Now, luckily for us, her thumb is moving fast enough to where it doesn't actually think that these are good points. So it kind of tries to look at them and track them and then just kind of gives up. So that's why we actually got a pretty good track. But things won't always work this way. Sometimes there'll be something in front of a screen that really messes up your track. So how do you deal with that? Well, I can actually track this just about the same way, but I can mask out whatever I don't want it to include in the track. So I've taken some time and made a very rough mask that goes over her right hand. And see, so it just kind of masks out the area where her hand kind of goes over the screen. And I can connect this mask to the white input of our planar tracker. And that'll tell it to just ignore anything under this mask. So I'll select my planar tracker, go back to my reference time, track it forward, go back to my reference time, track it backward. And now this time when it tracks, it's not going to use anything on her hand, it's ignoring it. So when we switch back over to our corner pin, we get a little bit more stable of a track. Pretty cool. Now all we have to do to put this image on the phone is key out our green with our delta keyer. I can just grab this green That'll delete that. And then with my planar tracker selected, over here under operation mode, when I'm in corner pin, it defaults to foreground over background, but I can actually switch this to background over foreground. And look at that. We got a pretty darn good key without barely any work. Now she's not scrolling on Instagram. She's petting the key cat. She petting that fur baby. Nice job. This is a new app that's coming out. It's called Pet the Fur Baby. It's a good time. So I hope that's helpful for anybody who's having trouble with the planar tracker. Until then, I hope to see you around these parts soon. And, and until then, I hope that all of your screens are replaced with cute little kitty cats. Because that's why we do film anyway, right? That's why I do it. That and the babes. <laughs>